Hello and welcome to HindriTheJedi.com. My name is Hindri the Jedi, and today we are going to be taking a look at one of our most requested training DVDs of all time, and that revolves around how to create a 3D character. And we took our time to create this brand new training DVD called Elikia. Elikia is a name in, in a language from Africa, and Elikia means hope. So we're going to be creating a character called uh, Elikia using 3D Studio Max and also utilizing the power of Adobe Photoshop to combine the two so that we can texture him in Photoshop while of course we also model it inside of 3D Studio Max and the end result of course will be a 3D character that you are, you're about to see in the following videos. Okay, so thank you so much for having joined me and let's go about checking out just what you can expect to learn from brand from this brand new and we'll start by DVD editing the blueprints Hindi inside of Jedi. adobe photoshop that way you can also of course learn how to prepare your blueprints to be used inside of 3d studio max and then after that we're going to import the blueprints into 3d max and begin our character modeling process and we will be building our character from the ground up of course, remember the character's name is Elikia, so we will be building Elikia from the ground up using polygon modeling techniques. We will be building our character, of course, as you can see, use, uh, building the body and some of his muscle uh, formations. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to jump in onto the face. And then we're going to give our character Elikia the, the warrior. We're going to give Elikia the warrior a bit of personality by deciding, of course, just how big we want his nose to be. <laughs> it's one of those uh, personal, personal traits that we just want to give our character to make him just something that we want it to be, okay? Without, of course, being plastic surgeons, eh? <laughs> and then we're going to stylize his head gear or whatever you'll be wearing on the head based on this concept uh, drawing that I saw because of course as a warrior he needs something to make him strike fear onto his enemies on the battlefield and I believe a stunning head gear like the one he's wearing right now is really gonna do the trick it's made of feather, feathers of course and then we're going to jump in into the complex process of UV unwrapping and pelt met mapping our character UV unwrapping is one of those processes which really come into play in this scenario because there's no better way to map this character in fact there's no more appropriate way more effective way to map our character than using UV unwrap tools and techniques and as you can see with it we can map any surface without any distortions you see that eh? You see, even the fingers, even when the, when the mesh really seems to be bulging, the character's texture still remains properly detailed. Mm -hmm. You can see, of course, how we even tend to fix the mapping there, you see? Making sure, of course, that everything is lined up properly. And by the way, we are using a checkerboard as a guide to help us see, of course, what we are doing. And then after that, we are going to texture our character, of course, to give him all the texturing that he needs. Mm-hmm starting with the eyes the skin and so forth and even some of these ornaments that just are there to adorn his look will also be worked upon because we really love attention to detail here at anythingjeda.com of course <laughs> oh yeah you've got to love what, what he's wearing there stylistic enough mm -hmm. We're even going to work on the skin of the cloth that he's wearing because he's wearing a leopard skin. And of course, a leopard is quite a revered creature. Very powerful, very subtle. And that's just a personality trait that we want with our character. And then we're even going to do hair and fur on our character, of course, to give his cloth material a more realistic look and feel by adding a bit of hair and fur onto the texture of the cloth okay and then we're going to take a look at lighting and rendering of course our scene in this case we'll be taking a look at three point lighting 
because three point lighting will give us the best results to really show our character in the proper kind of lighting setup as you can see on your screens because that way the skin is really nicely shaded and looking great from all points okay so that's of course the power of three point lighting you can see various examples i've been doing tests with you can see it's all looking nice and very beautiful to look at you see that eh? okay so thank you so much for having joined me on this little walkthrough of the elikia training dvd and get your copy today and model your warrior mm -hmm.